Economic Stability is focused on finding local solutions to create opportunities for prosperity. We will explore the ways some states, cities, business leaders, and communities are taking the future into their own hands. Here we are in the 2000s, and unlike what many of us were thinking when we were kids, modern technology and fast-paced big cities aren't satisfying anyone's appetite for the American dream. The shift of population from small towns to big cities in search of opportunity is leaving small towns with challenges that can't be faced by maintaining the status quo. When it comes to revitalizing a small American town to attract economic investment, technology and modern know-how are important to finding smarter ways to getting things done. Equally important is maintaining the small town flavor that so many Americans are craving. Well, we needed work done on the street and the sidewalks were terrible. And it just, through a series of meetings, uh, we talked about it, it was brought up before all the organizations in town, what should we do and how should we go about it. And uh, we got people from various uh, lending institutions were at our meetings and they had suggestions that you should, as long as you're going to replace the sidewalks, our streets were old, in, uh, infrastructure was old, water, water mains, sewer, and as long as we're starting it, we might as well do a complete job. So you're looking at six blocks of development here in downtown West Union with our streetscape project, from stormwater management to LED lighting, all the new technology that's going into streetscapes around the world. And we're starting to finish up here, but that's not what we're stop, where we're stopping in West Union. We're doing a facade master plan grant project here in the downtown area with 21 buildings, completely refacing the front of their buildings. Okay, we also have a second story housing project that's happening in three of our buildings down here that's gonna give opportunities to people to live, low to medium income people to live in, in housing here in the downtown district. So it doesn't stop. And I think that's the lesson that really needs to be learned. You don't stop with one project, you keep moving forward. And there's a lot of other things we're looking forward to here in West Union. And it's a lot of things that people don't care about. It's, it's total infrastructure pieces, such as the wastewater treatment plant, places like that. Things you don't see on a daily basis. But those are things you have to have to make your community develop the way we want West Union to, to develop. When you're a small town community of 2,500, garnering the attention of businesses and attracting investment is a bigger challenge than the larger cities face. However, when you're leading the nation in sustainability, even the Goliaths have to pay attention to the determination and initiative of a town like West Union. About five years ago, we had a group of people in town that took the initiative to do something different. You have two choices in this economy, and that's to do something or do nothing, and they chose to do something. And that's what you see in front of us right now with this construction, and what's behind us has been completed. It's been phenomenal. And it's for a lot of reasons. It's, it's not just for West Union, it's for all the communities downstream. We're doing stormwater management. We're saving them from flooding. 2008 was a killer down there. And what we're doing here is helping them in the future. So it, it's, you know, it's, it's a simple choice, quite honestly. It's do something or do nothing. In a true case of necessity breeding ingenuity, the revitalization revolution occurring in West Union began due to the town's failing 100-year-old infrastructure. For the folks of West Union, economic development and environmental sustainability are part of the same system and should be planned and implemented as such. Through the assistance of community development programs at the Iowa Economic Development Authority, West Union has been able to begin achieving their environmental and economic goals. I think the importance of attracting uh, retail or visitors to a community is not just the streetscape, it's what's underneath, and that's the geothermal district system. Um, I think the importance of that um, is that we're bringing um, an energy source 
uh, of the 21st century to a community that's 150 years old. And in this instance, uh, a streetscape always uh, is helpful in uh, convincing the public to come into your store or come into your service uh, business. In this case, it takes it one step further. Um, in that there is a district geothermal system underneath it and a stormwater management system that is international in scope. In addition to their stormwater strategy, all of the new streets and sidewalks comprise a pervious paver system, resulting in less stormwater runoff. From rain gardens and the green roof on the chamber building, to the public amphitheater on the courthouse lawn and the new streetscapes and LED lighting, area business owners are excited for the future as a result of these dynamic improvements. This revitalization effort uh, has a lot of features that is going to be helpful to my business, including the shared geothermal heating and cooling system, which will make it uh, less expensive to heat and cool. Plus, I have some rental units. It's going to make them easier to rent and um, keep rented. Um, there are a number of other things. Uh, um, it hopefully, it will attract new business and new people to town, so it will be more customers for us to to work with and they're, we're excited to see the changes in the structures downtown to refurbish them, uh, get new life to our downtown. My role in, in the overall project has been as a volunteer and kind of as a cheerleader. You know, there's been ups and downs. It hasn't always been pleasant, but um, we, we've plugged through. Um, but it's, it's been um, just to spread the good word, keep the enthusiasm going, let people know that you know it's a good thing for the future. Well, I've learned it's all about the community and it takes everybody. It takes the people that are for the project. It takes the people that are against the project, probably even more so, because they, they're the ones that give you the insight on what things could be done differently or what communication I, as a city administrator, have to give people. It's all about communication. You got to get out there in front of the people and you got to let them know what's going on on a daily basis, if possible. I'm extremely happy with the way it turned out. And it's going to, it's a big attraction. Hoping to attract new business, new industry, new people in town, young people. Hoping to start growing again. For more information on Iowa's innovative community development programming, visit the Iowa Economic Development Authority online at www.iowaeconomicdevelopment.com.